What's up? Welcome to Tewila Talk. All right, so this is the video that I mentioned earlier before. Uh, uh, and this is how this conversation started. So we're going to react to this video. I'm going to break down everything they said on, the, on this video. And um, yeah, and we'll go right into it. All right, let me know your thoughts too, guys. If you're watching this right now, let me know your thoughts. We really appreciate you guys for your watching. Watching, And uh, after this video, I'm going to read your comments and I'm going to respond to a lot of things you guys asked and said. Let's get right into it. It's the place where me, Tewila talks, and so do you. Woo! We are looking at everything from a Polynesian view. We're going to go to the streets and see what our peeps have to say out there. And we're also going to talk to some very famous Polynesian faces as well. Today's topic is one of my favorites. And I know that a lot of sisters out there will relate to this. What's up with all the brown guys and white women? Okay, so we're going to go to the streets and see what they have to say. Let's check it out. that brown men date more white women than brown girls date white guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I had to think of it. I never really thought about it, but yeah. Hard out. I, I don't know why though. Um, but yeah, definitely. I see more white guys, um, no, I see more brown guys with white women. I don't know why. Yeah, I reckon. Um, well, to me, like, I think that they do that because they're easy. It's, it's true that all Palangi girls do. Black guys, you know, like brown salmon <laughs> guys. <laughs> but I can't help it. A lot of the guys, they are like, they like to, to explore, so to speak. Um, I think it's, it's different, yep. you know, they like something different. Um, what do you call it? Poly girls are, oh, no, I don't even want to go there. This is some trouble, <laughs> this is some trouble. Oh! All right. All right, before I continue the video, that's one of the things, that's one of the points I said. If you listen to one of that girl, she said that the reason why Polynesian men date white girls is because uh, they're easy. And like I told you, like one of the points I made, it's not that it's not that white women are more easy. It's just they're willing to become the type of women that these guys are looking for. Like I told you guys before, Polynesian women are not willing to do the things that these men are looking for. And if these, these white women are bringing uh, are doing those very things that these guys want. Like I told you guys before, these, oh, these white women, these, the, the successful, high value men, you have to understand, they're the catch. They're the prize, right? So if you're the prize, you get to pick and choose who you want. And if one of these ladies, uh, uh, a lot of these women are not doing the things that you ask them to do or want them to do, then naturally you get to move on because because as, as high value men you you attract multiple options. So that's why it's just, a lot of women say, oh well, well, because they're more easy. It's not, not because these white women are more easy, they're more willing to adhere to what these guys want. Right? If you want marriage and commitment from these guys, you have to adhere to what he wants. Because like I said, women control access to sex, men control access to marriage relationships. So, ladies, if you guys want commitment and marriage from a guy to marry you, especially the high value men that you guys want and seek, then you have to adhere to his program and to his standards of what he wants. And if you're not willing to do that, somebody else will. And, well, and guess who is that somebody else? It's a white woman, all right? Supply and demand. If you don't meet the demand of, if you don't supply the demand of what these guys want, somebody else will meet that demand. Some interesting Very opinions interesting. there. Mm. So, Very enlightening. Um, yeah, well, hey, look, why don't we start with you, Oscar and Shinpao, because I know that both of you are currently with white women. What? <laughs> what? According to so, what? who else so, us on yeah. Saturday? <laughs> that was my cousin, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And, and Oscar, you know, you, you're you well known for your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very well known. That, that you date white women, which is uh, fine. But not exclusively white women. Right, right. You know, I, look, I just think race is a, is a societal construct um, put in place by white people to control people who aren't white. Right, so and how so come you haven't dated each There's only one race, Twila, there's only one race, the human race, and I'm not going to sit here <laughs> and condone bestiality <laughs> by <laughs> encouraging people to date outside that race. All right, that's fact. I like what you said. Yeah, yeah. So there's only one race, that's the human race. That's something I always say, you know, for all the, everybody out there, that's why I think Dave Chappelle had a funny joke, and I always love this joke. He said, uh, you know, uh, I might say some hateful things. I might say some stupid things. Uh, I might say some things that are very uh, hurtful and uh, very triggering. Um, but at the end of the day, 
uh, when it comes to his uh, uh, his uh, his man making tool, his tool, uh, he is a straight up humanitarian. <laughs> you guys don't know what I mean. When it comes to his uh, schlong, uh, his humanitarian doesn't care, right? Let's keep it moving. But so, why did they date more <laughs> white women than brown women? I don't think it's anything. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a preference. Like, I'm, like you said, I'm dating a white woman now, but before that, I was with the Samoan woman. That's before right. that, I was with a Chinese, Chinese, Chinese woman. It's true. Um, it's, the Indian. Yeah, the heart goes where the heart the, goes. The Maori woman. Yeah, well, the heart goes where the heart goes. Nice yeah. and powerful. How many on your nice. list? Oh, it's not a list. The heart really. goes I where the heart goes. I sort of got to. Yeah, I know a lot of you, like you said, I, I don't know whether these guys are afraid to say it openly and, um, or they're afraid to say it openly or they're aware of it, but. Um, these guys are really, both these guys, if you don't know who they are, they're very successful actors, well-known actors in New Zealand. So like I told you guys before, a lot of the things that I mentioned uh, of why the logical reasons why Polynesian men tend to date white women is all because of those reasons. But a lot of times these guys uh, who are very successful, they won't say it out loud in public because it's going to look like it's going to cause a very controversy, especially within our community that they're shaming and putting uh, Polynesian women down, even though it's very uh, practical and logical, the reasons why a lot of these Polynesian men are dating white women. But I know these guys won't say it out loud. I think, I don't know if they're aware of it, but from based on how I read their body language and their tonality and what they're portraying here on this show, I think they know the reasons why. It's probably one of the reasons why, uh, one of the reasons why, I, one of the reasons I mentioned this video, uh, but they're not, like I said, they, they can't, they, they're, I think they're holding back and not telling the, the real truth. We'll keep it playing. Database, <laughs> terabyte. <laughs> <laughs> but do, do you think that there is this this ideal that maybe is has come from colonization that um to have a white <laughs> like i mentioned to you guys before like i said that's the assumption for most majority of polynesian women they think it's, it's just colonization that's why successful polynesian men date tend to date white women is because of colonization but like i told you guys before it's not colonization colonization at all and i gave you guys uh the very logical reasons why uh, successful high value men, especially Polynesian men, tend to uh, marry and wife uh, a white woman. Partner in some way is a step up? Well, new way. My grandmother told me I wasn't allowed to go with any new way. I had to get a Palangi wife and yeah. bang, uh, because in case they turned out to be my cousin. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, her excuse. But, yep, the cousin, yep, the cousin uh, reason. Right, a lot of men. I think she was a bit racist, my grandmother, but that was her thing, right. in case they turned out to be your cousin. But to pick up on your point, whether as part of our experience as minority immigrants, whether part of settling into a new place was taking a wife or partner from that new country, what do you think, Bell? Yeah, go ahead, Bell. Oh, is it no? Yes, because Bell's no. your partner. No, my partner, partner is full African. And you know, it's. Really no, he's not. <laughs> 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 gotcha. Oh, my God. No, no, you guys are like. <laughs> 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 you didn't tell me he was. You didn't tell me he was. He's a white African. He's a very albino looking African. Um, it's really, uh, well, it's, it's crazy because I was just talking to Wheels before and I see him as no colour. Which is, you know. It's because he doesn't have any. He doesn't have any. <laughs> it's because he's Casper the Claus. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think there's a Polynesian woman right now that you guys are watching. I think she dates, she's dating, um, she's dating a white guy. So she's sharing her perspective. I think her husband or, or girl, a boyfriend is white. Sorry, no, you. you don't see his color. <laughs> I don't see him as a color. I don't. Yeah. I still in the morning, it's like, yeah. for those of you at home that don't know what that means, it means please plug the jug. And he knows what that means. <laughs> but when you first met though, right. did, were you sort of like, Aware of, you know, we did it. Was it a thing then when you first sort of met and thought, oh, I'm dating a white guy? Well, I was born and raised in Christchurch. There are hardly any brown people down there back in the day. Yeah. So going to school and being in a classroom full of white people was just normal. Mm. Mm. And dating white guys was just normal. Yeah. yeah. See, that's why I brought up that point exposure, right? They, uh, usually the people we date is, is, is dependent on what's available, right? And that's why I brought up that point for, for men who are very successful and they reach a, a different social economic status and they elevate themselves. A lot, majority of the women in, the, in, the, in those higher social economic levels and in, in, in spaces and professions uh, are typically gonna be white. You won't see the average Polynesian girl in, in, a very, uh, in, the, in the higher social economic level in society. 
So like I told you guys before, exposure, who, if you're gonna be exposed to those types of women or those types of people every single day, it becomes normal, right? She said in that video, she grew up with a lot of white people and that's just normal for a lot of guys who are very successful and they go to uh, go to college or a white college or go to a, a, a industry or their industry that they're in, the profession they're in, there's a lot of white people. It's just normal to date white women, right? Uh, and so they don't see it like that. You know, they never had the mentality of colonization. All right, so it's the same thing with men. When they reach a certain high status, they see all they see is the majority of the women in their space is white. So naturally, as men, we're still gonna have sex. We're still gonna seek relationships. You're gonna date the you're gonna date what's available. Absolutely, absolutely. But I, I did say to my husband, I said when we were first starting out, I said I don't know whether this is gonna work. You're just not hip hop enough. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was, and he yeah. was like, oh. he didn't know how to take that. But, compared, um, compared to the brown guys that you know, though, yeah. is, is he classier? Oh, yeah. How? Sorry about it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm not. How can I be classier? No, 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 not the people that I know, the guys that I've been at home with. Intimate. 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 Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's different. Now, uh, Nate, mm. you uh, have a lot of friends who are professional sports players. And. Um, he, he was. As a former yes, elite athlete, yeah, 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 as yeah. a former elite athlete yourself, mm -hmm. why? Um, just with the, the brown boys chasing the vanilla, I don't think that's the case. I don't think brown men chase white women because that means that we're trying to punch above our weight and that you know it's not reciprocated. Because I think it's white girls, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, white women are chasing yeah. brown men. I'm, I'm no, I just yeah. think it's just two consenting adults, you know, that like each other. Like I told you guys before in my video. You know, these white, like you said, that the brown men are not pursuing these white women. What does that mean? If they're not pursuing the white women, that means the white women are pursuing them. That's why I told you guys before, the, the, the white women are very competitive. They know what they want. They want a high value man. And of course, you add the fact that Polynesian men who are successful, especially the athletes, they're very, they look good looking, they're very, uh, they're very good looking, attractive men, and they know what they want and they're going to seek it. Like I told you guys before, the average Polynesian woman is not going to pursue a high value, successful Polynesian athlete. Uh, I have a, a, a high value Polynesian man who's very successful in higher social economic status, but white women will. White women will pursue these types of guys and get what they want. Um, and like I told you before, that's one of the, the reasons why there's a higher probability and why white women have a higher success rate of getting these types of men because they pursue them. They're competitive. Like they're not waiting around at home and waiting to their mom to tell them when they can go outside and, um, and have curfews. These white women are out and about. They're leaving home. They walk in their own, they're creating their own, uh, they're living, they're already moved out by the, by the age of 18, and they're going out there and they go to college and they see these, these uh, successful Polynesian men and they're going to pursue and they're going to get them and they're going to make the first room and initiate the engagement and engage these high successful Polynesian men. And he breaks it down perfectly um, on this, uh, on this, on, on this, on, on what he said about the professional athletes. And that's, you know, with the sports players, you're in a different environment. And if you have to put some pressure on a sports player to say, hey, you have to go and look for a brown woman. If the white women are just around and you create a bond and you're together, that's why. There you go. Like I say, he just said it, the white women are around. Like I told you guys before, he has nothing to do with colonization. It's just these guys reach a certain status and majority of the people, the women in that status, is white women so naturally you just go over what's available yeah, yeah. the hat will go where the hat will yeah. go even if the bond is there for that yeah. night you know <laughs> <laughs> so, fast turn around bond. So, you, but would it would it not seem uh and we're not the only sort of culture that is affected by this i mean i know african americans can relate to this and and other races of of color that it does tend to seem like the more successful the brown man the that, that, well, there are a greater percentage of brown, successful no, brown men um, with white um, women as opposed to with mm. sisters. All right, like I told you guys before, I broke that down uh, uh, early in the video, the difference between um, the reason why you see white women uh, date highly successful Polynesian men, but you will never see the opposite, the reverse. You will never see the average Polynesian guy date a highly successful white woman. And like I told you guys before, because of the intersexual dynamics between uh, between men and women, women date up, men date down. So, like I told you guys before, you know, women will always want to seek uh, a superior or a man that's either equal or higher social economic status. It's called hypergamy. Uh, just search it, search it up on Google. Pretty much, that's what that is. 
Um, but like I said, that's why white women want to go with the high successful Polynesian men. But you will never see a, a, the average Polynesian men date a highly successful, uh, uh, highly successful uh, white woman because uh, men are not attracted to a woman's success. Women are attracted to a man's success. Men are attracted to a woman's beauty, youth, fertility, and femininity, right? So that's why average guys don't go, don't see a very successful woman and, oh my gosh, she's so successful. I want to have sex with that woman. No, if it's opposite. For women, that's how that works for women, with female nature. When women see a very successful man, they're sexually attracted to him. But for men, for the average guy, we're not sexually attracted to a woman's success. Only that's what a man, that's what women look for in men. But that's not what men look for in women. And like I told you guys before, women who are very successful, even the successful white women, they don't want to date. Uh, they don't want to date down like the men. They always want to date up. So even when they, even though they're successful, independent themselves, they're always looking for a more superior man. So they're looking for a man that's just as that's just as successful as her or higher. All right. So that's why, like I said, that's one. That's why I, I just I just broke it down. Why her statement? That's why. So the reason why you never see. The reverse, why you never see Polynesian men date successful white women, and you always see successful Polynesian men date, date white women, is because of what I just explained right now. It's just the difference between the intersexual dynamics between men and women, and what are we attracted to? Yeah, I think brown guys back in the day, there was a sort of a status thing if you had a white girlfriend, you know, yeah. back in the day and all that, because your parents and your Sunday school teacher, you know, Jesus was white in Sunday school. He even. wasn't white. Well, oh, but that's well, in the picture, <laughs> the, picture yeah. the picture that we were given in my church, he was white in that, he was white in that book. But it's a bit crazy because obviously I can. These guys are going around the question <laughs> and dodging, and dodging the, dodging the, uh, dodging the laser beams. They don't want to be real. And see where some you know, uh, Polynesian mothers come from. It's that whole thing of, I don't want there to be any for a lovey lovers or, you know, so please just don't, don't marry into this, into this and be at a hardship. I'm thinking some of the mentality is not, not, not all. Yeah, facts. Yeah. That's one yeah, that, that can be a, one of the primary reasons why, like I mentioned earlier in the video, a lot of guys, especially the very successful guys, when you know the guys that build their worth and in, in, in their money, you have to understand that men who build their worth from, from the bottom, right? Um, Self-made men, they are very, very frugal, right? When it comes to their money, right? Because the, if you work hard for your money and you build yourself out of a, a, a very poor situation and you come from the bottom, you're not just going to give your hard work. You're not going to give away your hard-earned money for no reason. So a lot of these guys who are very successful. They're not just going to give their, they're, they're not going to just give their money especially if she, they marry into a family, the Polynesian woman, that you have to marry their family and handle all the financial responsibility. And a lot of times, if you're very successful and successful men know this, a lot of times people take advantage of, people and family will take advantage of a successful man always asking for handouts and favors. And a lot of successful people don't want to deal with that. That's why a lot of successful people just want to find a wife, start a family, and then live in their own lane and, and get away from everybody. Because a lot of people will try to take advantage of them. And a lot, and like I said, and also, for a lot of guys, like they, they don't want to waste their money for, for, for reasons that doesn't benefit them, right? Because you, they work hard for their money, and they're not just going to give thousands and thousands of dollars, as Polynesian families will. They'll just give thousands of dollars away to their function. And for a lot of self-made, successful, uh, high-value men, they don't want to do that, right? So, yeah, that could be a reason why a lot of these guys don't want to don't want to date. That's uh, a Pacific Islander girl, they might want to just date the white woman. I sort of agree with Nate as well. I don't think it's they actually um, brown guys are chasing white women. No, it's or, the white women are chasing to, brown men. No, no, no. I yeah. think um, <laughs> I, 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 yep, it's the white women are chasing brown men. Exactly. Oh, I think, I'm sorry, I, I think I mixed 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 that. race couples just stand out more. Yeah. When you see them yeah. walking down the street. Yeah. So I think Especially that's Especially when it's a brown girl and a white guy. Though, well, no, that's yeah. the thing. Though, that how often more do you rare. see that? How often do you see that as opposed to the other way around? I, dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd never see it. Like I explained already, you would never see it. The opposite of an uh, average Polynesian guy dating a highly successful white woman. Never had never you be like one, you know, we got winning a lottery. If you have to see it, you just got winning a winning a lot of <laughs> how often would you see well, that not yeah. as often not as what you would see the no. reverse yeah. so that's that's <clears throat> why do you think that is well why do you think there's in in conversations with with a lot of my um, feelings going off her feelings <laughs> um uh, polynesian male friends who are with white women when we've had candid discussions about it they say things like they got better bodies 
Yeah, yeah. brown guys. White women. Oh. Like as a what? well, you know, oh. like this. What you know? No, I'm just saying some yeah, of the things right. I say. All the superficial reasons. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. All right, I, I would say, ladies, I would say this, right? And, it, and like I said, in, uh, I'm always going to keep it real on my podcast, keep it real with people. When she said better bodies, I think what she's, what she really, what, what the, what the really means is there's a difference between, because like I said, Polynesian women are beautiful. Polynesian women are very beautiful. I'm not going to take away anything from my Polynesian women. Every single, regardless of where you come from, you're all beautiful, but let's, let's, let's address the elephant in the room. A lot of Polynesian women are fat and obese, right? A lot of Polynesian women are fat and obese, right? So uh, I think there are studies that show that 80% of Polynesian women uh, are overweight and obese, right? So if you're a very successful, high value man and that uh, you are attracting all these types of women, you're gonna select the best, most attractive woman possible. And if you look at the type of white women these guys are, are, uh, um, uh, are wifing up and marrying into, a lot of these white girls are in shape. A lot of these white girls have more healthier bodies. I wouldn't say they have better bodies than Polynesian women, but they have better, uh, healthier, more, they have healthier bodies and more physically fit bodies than the average Polynesian girl because the average Polynesian girl, is, let's be 100, you guys are fat and obese. All right. So, like I said, if I'm a man and I'm working and, I'm, and I want to attract the, uh, the best quality woman, I'm going to select the most sexually attractive woman who tends to be the woman that's the most prettiest it tends to be the woman that has the most physically fit and healthy body so that's that, that's what that means you know they, they don't want to say it, they don't want to be upfront with it they don't they're not trying to be um they don't want to say that on, on this show but that's what that means it's like no these guys know that the most polynesian girls they're going to deal with are fat and obese even though they may have pretty faces you guys may be pretty ladies but you're fat and obese so why not i just go with the white woman who's not only pretty herself also, but she also has a more physical fit body and more sexually, uh, a body that I'm more sexually attracted to. So like I said, I, I, there are a lot of women out there, Polynesian women who are fat. I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. Are there, are there a lot of uh, are there Polynesian women out there that are in shape? Yes, but let's speak with the majority. The average Polynesian woman is not in shape and is not uh, working. Uh, it's not constantly, uh, it's not in shape and, and, and uh, have, has a physically fit body. There's a so small minority of Polynesian women out there. So a lot of these Polynesian, a lot of the white women, especially the white women who really want this high value man, like I told you guys before, they're very competitive. So they know that these guys want a very uh, fit body, uh, more a sexually attractive woman. So a lot of these white women are working out and taking care of their health because they know that that's going to help them in attracting these high value men. But also a lot of it, that, that whole thing that they don't have to deal with the culture, you know, mm. like the family and all yep. of that, um, which I find interesting because I feel like they do have to deal with the equivalent of that, but in a completely different way, because now you're dealing with a whole nother culture, a completely different kind of family, um, and you're still going to have pressures and obligations that you, you know, did. Exactly. I think there's a context that we're missing here and that... Yep, that's like I mentioned before. A lot of guys like don't want to deal with the culture and all the uh, extra obligations that's not necessary for him in his in his life. Because don't forget, men who are very successful, men who are very ambitious, men who are, uh, uh, who reach a higher socioeconomic status in his life, they're they, they're focused on their own legacy and their own empire. They're not willing. They don't. They don't worry about what everybody else is doing. So, if they're trying to build their empire, they're trying to build build their life and. And, and, and this being with this woman is going to take away from my empire, take away from my life, what I'm, what I'm trying to build. Uh, a lot of these guys don't want to deal with that. So that's why that can be a, very, a, a big barrier, a big, uh, a big reason why a lot of these guys don't want to date Polynesian women. That pertains to us as Pacific people in New Zealand. We're immigrants and we are a minority. So it's always going to happen that mm. we, as part of we, as we integrate into life here, you're going to get people integrating into <clears throat> into ethnic marriages as well. Mm. The the comforting thing and the reason why we shouldn't worry about this effect and how what it's going to do to our blood or whatever is that you go back to our islands where we're the majority, where most people do marry within. Mm. You know, it's, yeah. it's a lot yeah, rarer. Mm. And so, yeah. as long as those islands are there, <laughs> 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 it's all right, that we just get right, because this is part of us integrating yeah. into society here. There are three million white people. Just through sheer averages, you're bound to get that crossover. Yeah, I get that, the whole integration thing and everything, but why does it seem to be more of the male rather than the females? Well, I think. Yeah, we already broke that down.
if you if you just if you just jumping in if you just jumping on the live uh, the live uh, show and wondering why uh, that why uh, it's usually the white women dating high successful Polynesian men is not the average Polynesian men dating high successful women. Go to the beginning of my show and I broke all that down. Of the, that, um, I broke the reason why that happens. It's just the intersexual dynamics between men and women. Men and women. I'm going to have to answer that question. Don't they? Uh, this conversation right, is... Uh, like for, for, it's for good-looking people. Because good-looking people, ha they have a choice. When you're someone like me, he's not blessed with the looks of Shimpa. Come on now. No, 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 no,
Well, it's interesting because there's dating, you know, and then there's, you know, having a family with. Yeah. You know, I mean, if someone asked me, you know, who would you, you know, my mum was Samoan, so I'd like my kids to have a Samoan mum. That's a different question to dating. Well, how are you going to have that happen when you only date white Well, yeah, it's a process. He's not exclusive. He's not exclusive. You know, going... Not exclusive. Don't throw me under a bus here, buddy. I'm so joking, my darling. I'm so joking. You look at other cultures, right? Indians tend to... N not okay, we got somebody about to join the chat right boy in the chat. SVT, if you're watching this right now, I'm about to add you to the chat. So, guys, I'm gonna pause this right here. Uh, we got a guest that's going to jump on the show, and uh, oh, he just exited. All right, all right, SVT, if you're watching this right now, I saw you jump on, I was just about to add you. So, uh, if you want to jump on again, uh, I'm gonna admit you to the show. So, I saw SVT coming off. Real quick, oops. So yeah, jump on again, I was about to add you. All right, let me uh, go back to the show. And we're gonna continue on watching the, uh, react to the video. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, and there we go, all right, cool. To Mary. I notice Asians as well, they tend to very much stick within their community, I think. Yeah. I think it's just us as really successful immigrants. <laughs> 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 we not only try, you know, the arts and sports and education and politics and yeah. whatever, but there's the other aspects of life that we're very successful at mingling and, you know. Oh, definitely, definitely. Appropriating for yeah. our own yeah, We're a travelling people. We get around. Yeah, oh, and also our populations are so small. You see, it's different for Chinese because there's 1.5 billion of them. But there's only, there's less than half a million Samoans on Earth. There's less than 100,000 Nguyen's. Actually, less than 50,000 Yeah, Nguyen's, less, less than that, yeah. Right you know, so they have to have to get the numbers up. I, I don't think you're wrong as far as numbers, but I think everybody's got their different reasons. Totally. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's a totally personal thing. Some might be, it might be a vanity thing. You want to be seen with a, you know, a blonde woman. Uh, for others, they, they, they just don't want to be reminded of their mum when they're making out, you know. Another thing that has come from this, which I just think is an idea that maybe makes sisters feel a little bit uncomfortable, is this kind of thing that half-caste children are better looking or, you know, like, right. you know, it's always such a thing. Oh, look at your half-caste. Oh, we're going to look at my baby at half brown out and half white. I've you know? people so, say that to me and I, haven't, I don't have any children yeah, yet, but they're like, yeah. look at Ellie and look and at me go, and they're like, oh, oh children are going to Absolutely. My, my older brother, my, uh, he's the exact opposite because we were yeah, I would say a lot. I mean, that's something that I, I think that's a normal he behavior. A lot of uh, couples, they do want to date. They do want to have uh, beautiful kids, right? So uh, I don't think that's, uh, I think that's normal. You know, if you meet somebody very attractive, you want to have beautiful kids, and then you find an a, a attractive mate, right? So, uh, yeah. But I do understand there are some people out there, I would agree with her that there are people out there that have that mindset, that, uh, that, colon uh, that colonization mindset that, um, they think that uh, if they have kids with white people, they're going to be more beautiful instead of having kids with other Pacific Islander people. So I, I do, I've seen them, I've seen people like that in person. So, you know, I would agree with that with her. I've seen it. So Born and raised in New Zealand and we all moved to Samoa. He, he has a thing for like the outer village woman. The Kwa. Yeah. The his, his, wife, his wife is from Kwa, like awesome. from way back and they got kids and stuff and he, like he likes to speak the language, he hardly speaks English anymore. And that's his thing, and I find that weird, but I'm like, oh, see you like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, his yeah. deal. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, I just think, I, I, I think absolutely everyone is, is totally right. It's um, love has no colour, your heart goes where heart goes. People are people, mm. and you know, all different kind of connections is what makes the world go round, mm. and we should keep it going the that way. But beautiful. brown, yeah, full brown, brown babies, brown are kids are bloody so good. beautiful, man. Yeah. 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 white woman had good credit. And, and all they clean. my babies, all my babies are gonna be full blood with their big noses and curly hair. No, I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's 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 the world. And the kids is. don't choose. How exactly, they exactly. The world, right? And so, so yes, we them. love no. our caramel kids, but don't diss the chocolate kids because they are just as cute and yeah. they're just as beautiful and just as valuable. And don't forget, without these full blood genes, you're not gonna. All right, I would. So you know, it's interesting. You know, this 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 girl right here, um, uh, she's a Samoan actress. Uh, Tawila Blakely, the one who's hosting the show, 
I would say uh, right now I was looking at Wikipedia. She's 46 years old. I think this video was made about eight years ago. So eight years ago, I believe she was probably in her 30s, uh, 30, 38. So the reason why she's, the re I, I'm not surprised why she's talking about this topic. Like I told you guys before, women date up, men date down. So the reason why she's concerned about this topic because she's a, she's a, she's, she's a uh, popular actress um, in New Zealand, and uh, she's in a high social, she's in a high social economic level. Uh, she's a successful woman compared to the average Polynesian guy, and I'm pretty sure she wants to date Polynesian men. And like I told you guys before, uh, women, uh, women only want to date up. So the type of men that she's attracted to are highly successful women, are men in her level or higher. And in New Zealand, the only men you're going to find in New Zealand that's in that higher level is like, you know, the professional athletes. All right. So, but the, this is her problem. She's 38 years old and she's old. And that's why I had to explain to you guys, if you understand the intersexual dynamics between men and women, very successful higher level men are always seeking the younger or attractive woman, right? They're not going to date a woman that's in her 30s or older because like I told you guys before, if you're a very successful high value man, men are always looking for the younger, more beautiful woman. And the higher your social economic, economic status as a man, the more options that opens up to you for all types of women to come to you. So the guys that she wants, the highly successful Polynesian men, there's a small minority, small percentage of those men, but all those men want the younger, attractive woman. They don't want her because she's 38, she's too old, right? So that's the problem with successful women. And like I told you guys before, and I broke it down earlier, if you're very successful as a woman, especially if you're an older woman, you're not willing, especially if you only ex exclusively want to date Polynesian men, it's going to be really, really hard for you to find a successful Polynesian men to date you, especially if you're over the age of 30, because those types of guys are always looking for the younger women and they're attracting younger women. So why would he date a 38-year-old successful woman when he can date a younger woman that's just as attractive, just as beautiful, and can be the type of man and wife and be the wife? And of course, if she's in her late 30s, she probably can't have children no more. So that's why I told you guys before, the four primary things that men look for, youth, beauty, fertility, and femininity. Those are the four things. So um, that's, I believe that's one of the, one of the reasons why she brought up this topic, because she can't, I think in her mind, she's, she's looking at all these successful Polynesian men that she wants, and she can't wonder, and she can't understand why these guys are not coming to her, because, you know, she's too attractive. She still looks good for a 38-year-old woman, but the, the thing is she's still a 38-year-old woman, right? She's old. So she can't understand why the guys that she wants in her level are not attracted to her, because like I told you guys before, uh, I always say on my podcast, a man has to create his value to be attractive in the sexual dating marketplace, but a woman has to preserve her value. And the value of a man is his resources and his success and his ability to provide and protect. And a woman's value is her beauty, youth, femininity, and fertility, right? And all those things that men find attractive to women depreciate over time as they get older. But a man, as they get older, because we build value over time, we become more attractive because as we become more successful, as we get older in men, and that's why it's that's why you see men who are still in their 30, 35, 40s, even their 50s, they still date younger women because, like I said, women are attracted to a woman's success, but men are opposite. We date down, women date up. All right. So that is why Tawila Blakely, like I said, that is why she's bringing up this topic and probably in her life, she's subconsciously wondering, like, why can't I uh, attract the type of men I want? And I just broke down, I just broke it down for you guys why she's still single i think she's still single as of today i'm looking at her profile yeah she just she has one oh she has, she has a kid she's a single mom um but she's not married and oh you know plus she has a kid so she just, I, just, I just saw this on wikipedia but plus not only she's old but she's also a single mom and like i told you guys before very successful high value men very masculine alpha men they do not want to raise another man's child so they're trying to build their empire and they're trying to marry a woman they can that marry a woman where he can have kids with and he can provide for his kids and build a legacy of his kids he's not trying to extend his legacy and bringing the child of another uh, of another man that refuses to take responsibility and raise another man's child so uh that's one of the things that high value men men are that men are repulsed by is is uh, they don't most men don't want to take care of another man's child especially especially a high value man right because a high value man can attract all types of women 
just as attractive and just as beautiful, but they don't have kids. And as beautiful as uh, Blake, Taylor Wheeler Blakely, Blakely is, but most guys wouldn't want to date and raise another man's child. All right. And that's one of the reasons. And that's why she's still single. And that is why uh, it's like I said, she's probably probably bringing up this topic. It's like I said, it's not colonization. It's not that's not the reason why these white, these Polynesian men that she's looking for is not dating her. The reason why is everything I just explained um, on this live show. That's why. 